it's always a little bit of a tricky thing because student buy-in is really sort of important. You have to get them on board with this from the get-go. So I always spend a little time the very, the very first day explaining that this is not like other math classes they've taken, that they're the mathematicians doing the work in this class, they're making the discoveries. I, I try and really kind of build the ownership in, you know, they're taking charge, they're going to discover this stuff, and that's a really cool thing. And I, you know, I emphasize that, you know, we're all, everybody's going to make mistakes, that I make mistakes. You know, in my research, I make mistakes when I'm teaching on the board. You know, everybody makes mistakes, and that's okay. That's expected. But we're going to be supportive of one another. And when we do have suggestions or comments about proofs, they're going to be done in a, in a positive way, in a supportive way. And usually pretty quickly, they kind of get the hang of how it goes. I actually start the first week worksheet on the very first day so that they start talking to each other right away. And, you know, if they don't know each other already, they introduce themselves, get to know each other, start working and sort of seeing how, how it goes. And I find that especially with the, with the proof presentations, people are really polite with each other <laughs> usually. I mean, it's, it's usually like, well, I know, you know, they'll say things like, well, I, I totally get what you meant and I, I, I know that's right, but the way you wrote that didn't quite seem, you know, I think if you just change this one thing, then what you really meant to say would be clearer. Like they, <laughs> they give people the benefit of the doubt all the time, which is really fun. And they always clap. It's so funny. I, I usually have them clap after a proof has pre been presented, but lately they do it themselves before I even suggest that they should do it. <laughs>